Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Manly92, and I am bringing you, I think, what is this, part 4? Yeah, it's part 4 of my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. So, uh, we're talking to the Elusive Man uh, about collectors and stuff. Yeah. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. I'll when trade you this laser gun for that 26er as as of arrive, space vodka. Beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Mm. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Council and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Yeah. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good I don't one. need a team. Commander I've Shepard, bitch. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging. But I don't read action. dossiers, damn it. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. <laughs> I, I just like I always picture like these conversations where I just repeat myself. You'd be like, "What the hell are you talking about?" <laughs> oh God, Shepard's stuck on loop. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. Just hit him on the back of the head, and he starts talking normal again. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'll go the opposite. Alright. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. Joker? I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. It is Joker. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Aw, yeah. Put a surround sound. Spinners. Hydraulics. You got the dopest ride this side of the Terminus systems. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. A Normandy Mark II. That was difficult. Move on. The name's already painted on the side. I don't really think we had a choice. Oh, well you didn't want to call it the Normandy? Alright, well I guess we'll just have to bust out our space paint guys and redo the entire thing. Level up! So what's next on our agenda? Save Morden? 
I'm pretty cool. Going around, shoot some aliens. You know, typical Cerberus stuff. Loot some safes for no reason. Oh yeah. Miranda, I need to test out the durability of the springs in the captain's the springs in the bed in the captain's quarters. Meet me there at 0200 hours. And come drunk. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Pushy, pushy, of pick up Morden, pick up Morden, blah, victims. blah, blah. We'll need him to develop a counter This is my ship, us. blow it out your ass. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should I'll return to Put on to my blindfold posts. and Come take ten steps back, spin me around. And I'll pin the tail on the map. Alright, let's go look through my guns. I think that's priority number one. There's so many things I could do on here. Ride the elevator up and down, point at things on the map, and fly to places I've never been before. Jump on my bed. Also, this entire ship has to be christened. <sighs> Weapons locker. Uh, da -da -da. What's my other option here? Arc projector. I guess that's all I have. Scientist is required to use the technical lab. What I can't I don't qualify as a scientist? Eh, let's talk to Jacob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something. Why aren't you working harder? It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hard line. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suits you? If you follow orders and keep to yourself, we'll have no problems. Fair enough, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I feel like such a jerk picking all these options. Like, this is totally not what I would say at all. Where did the Paragon come from? Just simply talking to him got me a Paragon. Alright. 
Let's go talk to Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship, ship cancer. cancer. <laughs> I'm sorry, Normandy. You have ship cancer. Hmm. I don't know what's more renegade. Hmm. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. Some of these options I We're really can't, though, uh... Right? I mean, this is <laughs> real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather. Uh, leather. <laughs> you're not hearing me. Leather. Where's that other option here? Got some pressure loss in the number four hydrogen tank. Lock it down, Edie. Yes, Shepard. What is this room? What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots. Who's that guy over there? And the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. <laughs> I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members. Yeah, that of the seems other. like it wouldn't be uh, there wouldn't be any problems with that. We are called the Lazarus cell. Which no is Cerberus on Cerberus awesome. violence. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Like a Although Lego block? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Damn it, Edie, answer my questions! For now. Logging you out, Shepard. What's this shutter control, and where is it, and why can't I press it? Sweet. We're flying blind, Joker. All right, I'm done annoying people up here. Uh, let's talk to some more people. Let's go to my captain's quarters. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your I've, I can honestly assistant. say I've never heard the title of Yeoman, but I guess and I'm not a, say, a ship an guy. To work under you, Commander Shepard. I handle my own business. I understand Get off my ship! I won't bother you unless it's important. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Just gotta tell her place. I expect sandwiches on the my captain or my cabin every day at around lunchtime I expect you to know when lunchtime is or when I call lunchtime uh, team status Let's see if I can upgrade some people oh nope unread messages Lots of things going on. I gotta say, that is just a terrible picture of Ashley right there. Let's put on some music, throw in some tunes. Boring. Ooh.
Yeah. Okay, I don't. Well, so I don't even know why I'm doing that. All right, uh, I think this will be a short episode. I'll end it here, and the next one I will go down to the. Uh... Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna go talk to uh, Miranda. I'll talk to Miranda, and then I'll end this episode. And we'll go on to the next one. Lots of loading, loading, loading. If you're ever lost and need help navigating the world, just press R3 or L3 to bring up an objective marker while on a mission or map visiting a hub. Where is Miranda? Let's see if I can remember the layout of this ship, basically. I think I know it. How's it going? Commander, what can All right, I do? I think I'm going to try to romance uh, Miranda. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most I really don't understand how you can romance can help any of your, your crew members happy to do so. while also being so, a renegade. What would you like to know? Uh, yeah. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant I guess, uh, investment. it would go Fantasy along the lines of I'd just be a jerk and all hoping you can do the impossible. just attracted to, uh... No pressure. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision. But I make the most of it. Hmm. It's one of the I hadn't noticed. Man handpicked me. As I stare I down at her just tits. About anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's yes, because when you're designing a piece of hardware that wants to move as fluidly yet. as possible, you don't put two giant double D weights on the front that'll overthrow it. Just, I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very Considering hard. her father Physically designed her. In many ways. Uh, I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. I apologize if I uh, course, Commander, reveal some means. things that are further down the storyline, and uh, but I have beat this, and I presume everyone else is, that is watching this has beat it. So uh, yeah, but I think that's pretty much it. So uh, I will stop this here, and I will come back and be ready to go and save Morden. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.